This video is about implementing the next generation st science standards into my chemistry classroom. So I gave the students in my chemistry class the task of making a life straw. This is what a real one looks like. And these are on the market today. And the idea is that they're able to filter water, um, dirty water. And so I gave them um, some specific information about the current water crisis in the world. And, and um, so I divided each group into subgroups. I had an engineering subgroup and a scientist sub subgroup. Each group had two of each. This is the information for the scientist subgroup. They had to test different materials uh, for the life straw, materials such as um, different substrates like sand and um, charcoal and vermiculite and other substrates. And then they had to inform the engineering subgroup. And with that information, the engineers would plan and sketch their prototypes and test them and they had to test a total of three prototypes. Each uh, sample of water had actually three contaminants. They had a contamination of turbidity, so that could be from sediments, bacteria, and other um, contaminants. They also, I made the water really acidic, so they also had to correct the pH of the water and I also made it salty. So they had to test their water with the turbidity sensor, the pH sensor, and the salinity sensor. That's the clay or what? That's the vermiculite. Oh, it's really high. That's good. Yeah, river rock. River wall. River rock. Another, what if we do like the river so then it, that could get like the uh, We have to do that first though. Uh, the last thing. Last. And then at the end of it, put another filter to the way. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just put a filter on the top. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to go fine sand, charcoal, fine sand, charcoal. Oh, what do you have in there? We have sand, charcoal, sand, and water. We wanted to make the pH level higher because it was so acidic and lower the salinity level and the turbidity level. And we tested six different types of material and we really kind of based it off of the pH level, but we like the make or break points, we decided on the salinity and turbidity level. If there were a really low level of, or a high level of pH and a really high level of turbidity, we decided not to use that just because that still wouldn't be drinkable, so to say. Yeah, it's kind of productive. Yeah, the prototype, we didn't do the river rock at all. We just did, we did a fine sand at the bottom and purple on top of that. Then we'd stick a filter right above the end cap to stop any falling out of the tube into the water. But what we really wanted to do was clean up the water, get the turbidity down, make it crystal clear in a sense. We decided to take out one of the sands and vermiculite because they're brown. And filtering the water through would really kind of make it this gross, nasty yellow color. And we got a nice, white, clear water with um, its PPT being at 4.5 and turbidity being at 22. I guess what we would do next if we could is try to raise our pH a bit. So it's still a little on the low side, we could bring it up. Other than that, I think it was a really good prototype. 